Hey everyone, welcome back to the Kins Log channel. Today we are going to do the tutorial on how to hook up your Sega Genesis 1, 2, or 3. Uh, what we're going to need is obviously a Sega 1, a Sega 2, and a Sega 3. Uh, we also need a tester game. We're going to use Sonic 2. And we need, uh, for this tutorial, we're going to need two adapters. This is the, uh, the regular Sega RF unit. And then we also need uh, just a straight RF adapter. So what we're going to need video. is both the power adapters. The Sega Genesis 1 uses a 9 volt power adapter, and the Sega Genesis 2 and 3 use a 10 volt adapter. So we got both of those today. Uh, first things first, we want to make sure we have power to our TV, and we do. And for this tutorial, we're going to use channel 3 for everything. So we want to make sure everything is set so up. We to are ready to hook up our Sega Genesis 1. Uh, we have our RF adapter and we have our power supply and our game. Uh, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to look on the back of your Sega Genesis 1. I'm going to put a picture down here, a close-up picture, and I want you to plug in your male end of your RF adapter into the RF out. Once that's completed, you're going to take this end and you're going to plug it into the back of your television. And I'll put a picture below to show you where to plug it in. Okay, now that your RF adapter is plugged in, I want you to look at the back of your Sega Genesis 1 and I want you to make sure inside where it says uh, channel 3, channel 4, make sure it's over on channel 3. Okay, now the next step is you want to plug in your 9 volt power supply. Okay, plug that in to the uh, back where it says adapter. And then plug this into your wall or power strip like I'm going to do. Okay, now the last step is to put in your game and turn it on. And there you go. That's how you hook up your Sega Genesis 1. Okay, so now we're going to do the Sega Genesis 2 and 3. These uh, two models are exactly the same. They hook up exactly the same and uh, they use a 10 volt power supply which we have and also your regular RF unit that's uh, made for Sega Genesis. The one thing I want you to make sure of on this RF unit, I'm going to put a picture up here, is to have this channel selector on channel 3. So we have everything marked up. So first step is plug in your power supply and plug it into the back of your Genesis 2 or 3 where it says adapter. Okay, next step is let's go ahead and plug in the RF unit to the back or side of the unit, whichever one you're dealing with, and plug that in to the Sega Genesis 1, or excuse me, 2 or 3. Go ahead and plug that in there. And then, while well, making sure that your channel selector is on channel 3, let's plug this into the back of the TV. Okay, now that you have that plugged in, let's go ahead and put it in our game, make sure it works. Sega! All right, a little bonus gameplay. But that's how you hook up your Sega Genesis 1, 2, or 3. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If it helped you, um, I'm glad that it did. And I hope you subscribe to this channel. We're going to have a lot of cool videos coming forward. Uh, what I, did I choose two player? Oh, it's going on by itself. Sega. Sega.